Yeah, I think you've got to put politics in perspective. Um, consider the different instruments we can use to solve problems. Politics is a pretty soft one and a pretty good one. Uh, and we use politics as a way of dealing with the issues that the country faces. Uh, so I think uh, government should be responsive to politics. And when someone says to me, oh, that decision was just political, I think, thank God. Uh, the alternative is what we see in Afghanistan, Iraq, or Libya, uh, where there's conflict. I don't think we should be solving problems with conflict. We should be solving problems with politics. Well, I think there is a taxonomy of think tanks because uh, each of them serves different purposes. There is a group of think tanks, or there, are, there is a group of think tanks that is uh, focused on advocacy, some from the right, some from the left, some from uh, narrow, uh, issue-oriented kinds of uh, focus. Uh, and there are others that are broad and general, others that are evidence-based and research-based, um, others that are simply advocates. And I, I think we need in Canada a cacophony of voices. We need people coming from different angles on all the issues. It's advantageous to have that. On the other hand, I think it's really important that we can cut through a lot of the, uh, I would have said bullshit if we weren't being filmed, uh, that uh, we can have somebody who can filter that stuff and find a filter that uh, allows us to say, this is legitimate and this isn't. And I think in that sense, institutions like CG and IRPP that I used to be associated with uh, play a very important role because they are what we casually call independent think tanks. But by independent, what we really mean is that they don't start with an answer, they start with a question. And that's what I think is crucial in this. Yeah, I think there's lots of evidence that think, think tanks um, have, are, and can in the future make a difference. Um, I think the, uh, the notion of think tanks uh, playing a role in the public policy debate is very important. I think you need, each think tank needs to define that role. I mentioned in the con uh, during the conference that I had defined IRPP's role as plugging the research into decision makers and doing that at an, uh, as an elite uh, into not, not the institution as an elite, but the decision makers as the elite. Um, partly you do it by influencing the public debate and going to the public directly. So the op-eds that we would get uh, published out of IRPP were very important in giving us credibility to go to decision makers. Having said that, at the end of the day, politicians are very good at talking to their public. And what fundamentally this is, is a question of leadership. And so I think the role of the think tank is to inform the debate, and it's up to the uh, decision makers and the politicians to actually play the role of carrying that can. The other institution that's important in this is the media, and the media plays a role of interpreting and translating a lot of the research from arcane scholarly interaction on the one hand into something that is readable and comprehensible on the other by the public at large and by decision makers as well. And I think, I mean, I'm a big believer in representative democracy. I am unfortunately a small d Democrat. And so those people who got elected have a unique role to play in uh, accepting and being receptors of good research and good ideas and being translators of those good ideas back to their public.